Hi everyone, welcome to our channel again. This is Epson EcoTank L3270. In this video, I'm going to show you how to scan on this multifunctional printer. We will connect it to PC and to smartphone, and I will explain you a little bit about scan applications features. To make the scans, first you need to set up the printer and connect it to an output device. Let's do it on a computer first. So what you need is open any web browser and Google search for Epson L3270 driver. Uh, next, go to Epson support website. In this drop-down, select your operating system, Mac or Windows, Windows 11 in my case, click go. Then scroll down and for Windows user install Epson product setup and for Mac users install Epson software updater only. Uh, so let's click on this link, select download and once the file downloaded just click once to open. Yes, in this window. Actually, you can minimize your browser, you just need Epson installer window. So once the app is launched, you need to accept the license agreement, confirm your action. This is the additional agreements. You can uncheck these checkboxes if you don't want to send the information to Epson. Click Next. Make sure the printer is turned on and you filled all the ink tanks. Check this checkbox if yes, click next and you just have to wait for the driver installation. Now it's looking for your printer, but the printer is still not connected to Wi-Fi, so you will have connect to Wi-Fi manually. So also you can connect via USB cable, but we also want to scan from smartphone. So let's set up the wireless connection. Select this, hit next. And now select the Wi-Fi network you wish to connect the printer to and make sure your computer is connected to the same Wi-Fi network. In my case, it's named my Wi-Fi. It's 5 GHz band, but this printer can detect only 2.4 GHz bands, so select this. The password is entered automatically, check if it's correct. Hit Next. And now take a look at your printer's control panel and if you see two flashing Wi-Fi indicators, this is an error. You need to press the Wi-Fi button once to fix it and once it, uh, they turn off, hit Next. And now press and hold the Wi-Fi button on your printer for 5 seconds until you see blinking Wi-Fi indicators taking turns. Like this, release the Wi-Fi button. And now it's starting to connect. Just please wait, it takes for about 2 minutes, sometimes more, sometimes less. So now the printer is connected and you're suggested to select software you wish to uh, install. I have some soft installed on my computer, so uh, some checkboxes are dimmed for me. What I recommend you to install is Epson Scan Smart because to scan documents you need to have scanning application and Epson has uh, their native application. It's pretty good for beginners, so I will show you everything there. So uh, check Epson Scan Smart. You can uncheck Epson photo and manuals and support utilities as well, unless you want to uh, test this software. So uh, hit next. Let's skip printing the test page because we don't want to print, we want to scan. Let's just finish the setup. And let's skip the registration of the printer, click on finish. It takes us to the website and actually we're all set, you can close your browser. For Mac users, just press and hold Wi-Fi button on your printer until you see blinking indicators over here. Then add the printer to your system and open Epson Software Updater downloaded from the support website. Select your printer and it will say you which software you're missing. Just check the checkboxes. 
this is essential updates and this is optional updates so install essential essential and consider if you need optional uh, click on install and you're all set uh, let's finally scan something so you need to open the start menu and start typing Epson scan smart find this application open it and on the home screen of the app you can just only specify your paper size uh, if you need more settings click on this gear icon over here uh, scan settings go first and you can switch between auto mode photo mode or document mode which you can customize uh, so what you can do here uh, in the main settings tab you can select document source but you have only one option here you can set your document size image type color grayscale or black and white resolution up to 1200 dpi but for documents 300 is more than enough uh, you can enable auto rotation and correction of the document skew over here or turn it off here is some more settings in advanced settings tab so you can test remove background feature text enhancement uh, increase brightness contrast and gamma so uh, you have to experiment with these features yourself to find the best uh, setup for uh, your purposes also you can click on this drop down and save current settings so you, you can have few scanning presets for different types of documents and so on so once you're done with your settings just click on save and uh, anytime you can reset your document mode settings also you can enable different photo enhancements also experiment with these features and customize your actions you can perform after the scanning is complete uh, you can set default file name in this menu and adjust saving settings for each file format separately so uh, keep in mind if you want to create multi-page document you have to use PDF format as output and you can click on options and adjust general settings like quality uh, and security settings so you can protect your file with the passwords so also some settings for jpeg like quality and encoding and for tiff format so also experiment with these settings and create different presets uh, other settings is just send usage information to epson so let's not do it so far okay let's close the settings and to scan you need to place the document on the scanner glass and you need to place your document first of all facing down of course and align the top left corner of the document with the bottom right corner of the scanner surface so place it like this fit the borders snugly with the edges of the paper sheet and close the lid next in the application click scan and just wait for the result so once you scan the first page right away you can add more pages to your document just place the next page on the scanner glass and after this click on scan so now you have two pages in your document and you can repeat this action as many times as you need uh, after this you can reorder the pages just drag and drop like this you can delete any page rotate left or right if you hold control when you're selecting uh, pages you can rotate pages simultaneously like this uh, also you can uh, crop any page over here and that's pretty it if you need more advanced uh, editing settings like uh, markup like adding text you need to, to use other scanning applications like i don't know like uh, viewer scan or adobe acrobat but uh, most of them are paid so uh, this research is on you uh, and here once you're done scanning just click on next and select an action you wish to perform you can send to dropbox send to google drive and so on uh, you can print the document right away uh, but for uh, this example let's just save to our file system so you can rename your document in this field something like this and select file type pdf or uh, image format or, or bmp or searchable pdf uh, to enable text recognition uh, and select the folder 
just you can click on browse and browse your file system let's save to documents for this example and hit save and here is your document in the folder it opens automatically and now you know how to scan on your computer to scan using your smartphone as an output device, you need to install Epson Smart Panel application. It's available both in uh, App Store and Google Play Store. So install it, open, agree to the terms and conditions. OK in the next screen. And now it's time to grant permissions. First, grant permission to access your location while using app and next allow to find devices on local networks is also necessary and make sure your smartphone is connected to the same network as your printer stay on wi-fi and be connected to your wi-fi router and uh, in this way your printer is going to be found automatically so tap on its name and actually you're all set now you can select between two types of interface cards or tiles personally i prefer tiles as you can see you're using the latest firmware however if you see update option here just update your firmware automatically okay and here is your scan feature a way fewer settings over here so uh, there is nothing to explain just place your document press start scan as many pages as you need and save your document using the system dialog that's pretty simple and actually now you know pretty much a lot about how to scan on this printer i hope this was helpful if yes consider to subscribe to our channel hit the like button to support us any questions comment below and see you in the next videos be awesome bye guys